Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion on Open Evans Daily Devotional Study Channel, a platform that brings you the Open Evans Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible even as we read along today. Today's date, Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. Topic, The Storm Stiller Part 3. Memory Verse, Luke 7 verse 13. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. Bible reading is taken from, Mark 4 verse 35 to 41. And the same day, when the even came, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. 37. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. 38. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. 40. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? 41. And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Our topic once again is the Storm Stiller Part 3. Message The greatest storm of life is untimely death. The good news is that the Storm Stiller has power over death. The Bible says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, and the life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever lives and believeth in me shall never die. Believe thou this? John 11 verses 25 to 26. The story behind our memory verse is a pointer to the fact that Jesus indeed is the only one who can still all storms of life including the most devastating one death. There was the widow who was left with only one son. The storm of death had taken away her husband and returned to take her only son as well. As the child was being carried away for burial, the woman and the people bearing the corpse encountered the storm stiller. The Bible records that. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Luke 7 verse 14 Beloved, I bring good news to you today, the storm of untimely death will not rage in your family. As Jesus stilled the storm on the sea, so shall every devastating storm be stilled today, in Jesus' name. Jesus is the only answer to the storm of death. The Bible says, Forasmuch then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage according to Hebrews 2 verses 14 to 15. Beloved, you do not need to be afraid of death because Jesus Christ has conquered death for us. Because he lives, death shall have no power over us again. You do not need to join secret societies or engage in voodoo for fear of death. Romans 6 verse 9 says for we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again, death no longer has mastery over him. This assures us that death has no control over Christ, if you're his child, death can have no control over you either. 
Prayer Point Father, never let me or any member of my family experience untimely death, in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray the above prayer for the rest of the day. Kindly like and subscribe, share the link to this video to bless someone today. Thank you. Bible in One Year, Isaiah 15-19 Our hymn today is Hymn 17. Praise my soul the King of Heaven. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, God bless you.